Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wolf and I'm going to show you how you can collect data to figure out how, the time, the exact time it takes your card to move 0.3 meters. So I have my Vernier graphical analysis already up. One thing you're going to want to do is that notice my force here is, it's pretty close to zero, but it's not perfect. So I'm going to click on force and click zero. And I'm going to do the same thing for position. It's a lot easier to know if it moved 0.3 meters if we just start from zero. So everything's zeroed. By the way, when I did that, my mass is off the string. It should be off the string. All right, you don't want any like tension and then you zero it. So now I'm gonna put my mass on the string so there's tension. We can see that with the force right there, but my cart hasn't moved yet. So still a position of zero meters. Now I'm gonna press collect data and I'm gonna drop my mass. All right. And we should get something that we've seen before. Notice right here, all right, this is our constant force, right? That's what the measurements we took before. But now let's look at our position versus time graph. All right, so Let's see, if I look right here, let's see, we zoom in maybe a little bit, All right? It looks like right around 0.78 seconds, I was at, or 0.7 seconds, I was at zero meters. All right, so that's your initial time. All right, now I'm gonna go further and I'm just gonna click here and where's 0.3 meters? I'm pretty close to it. 3.27, all right, so for whatever reason, it's not letting me do exactly 0.32 or 0.3, but I could do 0.327. Hopefully you guys are able to do a, have it a little bit closer. Let me see if I could, uh, it keeps on snapping. So 0.327, all right? Actually, I think that the point, 0.285 is closer to 0.3. And I, we noticed that it took one point, at 1.3 seconds, it was at 0.285 meters. Now that doesn't mean it took 1.3 seconds though, right? Because we started here at 0.7 uh, seconds. So I would need to take that value right here, right, that 1.3 seconds minus that 0.7, and that would be the time that it takes to move that 0.3 meters. Thanks for watching, everyone.